Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Alex, the Comic Order. Thank you so much for clicking play on this video behind me. I've got a box with two slabs in it. These are the hottest slabs pretty much on the market right now. So hopefully you guys are excited. Hopefully you're ready. Here we go. As always, I want to give a huge shout out to this channel sponsor, which is the Shortboxed app. It's the easiest and safest way to buy and sell graded comic books online. There's a link in the description below for Apple and Google Play users. Every time you download the app using that link, it helps out this channel. So I really encourage you guys to download that app today and check out the amazing selection of comic books they have online right now. This box is from Champion City Collectibles. There are two books in here that are incredibly hot right now. One has come to fruition in the MCU, and the second one is well on its way. This is an almost their spec book, and once it hits any kind of hint that this character is going to be in the MCU, it's good night, game over. So if we see this character in Doctor Strange, a Multiverse of Madness, good night, goodbye, this book is absolutely gone. It's one of my favorite books of all time. Ever since I was a little kid, I wanted this book. But check out championcitycollectibles.com. Links in the description below. They are amazing. They want to be your LCS if you don't have a comic shop. If you do have a comic book shop, I have, I've got tons of LCSs I go to, and I still check out um, Champion City Collectibles. If there's a book that I'm like, wow, that book came out today, and uh, I didn't pre-order it, and I don't really want to go to the rat race, if they've got it, I'll message them, and we'll figure out a way for me to get it from them. And then also, their, their back issue stock, they've got amazing Silver Age, Bronze Age, up to modern amazing books a lot of slabs a lot of raws they've even got uh, other kinds of collectibles too so check out champion city collectibles really really fantastic easy to work with uh, folks i'm going to get into this box right now we're going to do a little uh, editing fast forwarding so that you can get straight to the good stuff all right so this is what you can expect when you order from champion city collectibles amazing very nice box very nice packaging look at all this packaging inside I mean, that's bulletproof right there. A box within a box. We've seen this before from Champion City Collectibles, a box within a box. So I'm going to open up the second box and we'll be right back. So this is what you'll see when you open up a Champion City Collectibles, especially if you're getting a slab. There's this really, really great blue um, padded envelope. And so we're going to get into here. I just love their packaging. I think it's just pro top, top rate stuff. And there's so much packaging in the box as well. These things are bulletproof. All right, we got some new swag from Champion City Collectibles. So this is their advertisement, Champion City Collectibles. Your destination for comic collectibles. They've got comics, Funkos, and cards. And then, boy, you can even, they've even got a QR code. Dang, scan me, that's pro. So check out that, Champion City Collectibles. Scan that baby, uh, point your phone at the screen right now and scan that baby. Uh, they've got a phone number, they've got an uh, information so they've got a, an email and their website you can follow them on Facebook and Instagram Yeah, brand new sticker here champ city collectibles that's pretty awesome champion city collectibles.com and then business card dang that's super thick it's got like even like layers so comics Funkos cards champion city collectibles boom scan that um, really nice logo on the back all right so Let's see, the first one is the one, um, let me get this padding out of the way. The first book up is probably the, the more expensive, bigger book. And I'll show the books and then we'll talk about the prices. So first one up, this is the one that's come to fruition. This is Daredevil number one. Very, very nice looking book. Daredevil number one, 3.5 cream to off-white pages. First appearance of Daredevil, uh, Karen Page. Foggy Nelson, and very, very nice, great book. Always love this one. This is from 1964, April 1964. Have always loved it. Um, Champion City Collectibles has very, very nice Mylar and their sticker on the back. I've always loved this book. This is a, just a really nice copy of this. Um, really looks like, gosh, it looks like my similar to my 4.0 that I had. So I'm happy to have this. I had a 4.0, then I had a 3.0, and now I have this 3.5. So really excited about this. It, for some reason for me, this is one of the still underrated, undervalued keys uh, in the Marvel um, line. As far as big first appearances in the early 60s, I think this book has a lot of upward potential. As soon as you see like 
the next Spider-Man movie and Daredevil in costume. Like once again, good night. This thing's over. We already have Matt Murdock in the MCU. So whether they're going to continue using Matt Murdock in the MCU or if that was kind of just like a fan service in Spider-Man uh, No Way Home. We don't, we don't know. I have no clue what they're going to do with him. If they're going to bring back the Netflix series and kind of just use him in that capacity. We don't know. So uh, there is that book. Let's talk a little bit about pricing. So according to gocollect.com, the fair market value of this book is $4,200. The last sale was an offer accepted February 21st of 2022. The book was listed for $5,150, and then the, the last confirmed sale was in January 9th, 2022 for $4,550. Before that, December 28th, $5,500. So this book is really just like above and below $5,000. The fair market value of that uh, $4,200 may be a little low, but maybe it's kind of just like the calm after the storm of... Spider-Man No Way Home. You can check the census on this as well. Not that it matters. There's thousands and thousands of this book on the census. So there's 5,470 total Daredevil number ones. Universal, there's 4,376 copies. Two 9.8s. Could you imagine having a 9.8? And then there are 364 3.5s. It's not a rare book. It's plentiful. If you want to get a Daredevil number one, if you got the cash, you can get a Daredevil number one, I promise you. It's not like some of those Golden Age books where there's 20 on the census total or like 50 total, 20 of them are universal grade. So the next book up is a book that I've loved ever since I was younger. This is one that I've always wanted in my collection. Uh, never thought it would happen. I've had several copies of this now as an adult, but just as a kid, I would see this in like Wizard Magazine and just dream about how amazing it would be to have this book. And I will tell you guys right now, I prefer this cover over the next issue. But this is Fantastic Four, number 48. It's got the custom label. This is my first custom label I've ever owned. I've never had a custom label. You know what? I don't even remember. I didn't even remember that this was a custom label. So it's a 5.0 uh, creamed off-white pages from March of 1966. This is Fantastic Four. 48, the first appearance of Silver Surfer. This is the nicest copy I've ever had. I've had a lot of, I had like a 1.8, I think, or 1.5, 1.8, some, something like that. I've had a couple 3.0s, a 3.5, and I think that was it. I think that was my highest. I've had some raw copies uh, that I didn't get graded, but this is awesome. I, I, really, I forgot that it had the custom label, so that's really cool. Here's the back of it. Beautiful Mylar. This book looks so, so nice. You know, I would actually have graded this higher than a 5.0, to be completely honest. I would have graded this more like a cheese. Well, okay, this is probably what brought it down to a 5.0. Looks like there's some lots of tanning, and I don't know what that is right there, but it is definitely what probably brought this book down because this front cover is impeccable. I mean, there's barely any spine damage. There is really, so that must be water damage. There's, it's, it's water damage, water staining, because there's some water staining under the thing's foot right there. Um, so that is what murdered, murdered this book. You guys remember I had that really, really nice Amazing Spider-Man 50 that got a 3.5 and it had water damage. So this water damage in this back corner right here and this front cover just went all the way through the book and it murdered this book because this baby looks like a 7.0, 7.5. So that'll do it. Um, that will definitely do it. Love this book. Amazing, amazing. First appearance of Silver Surfer. So here is why I like this book better and I'm going to make the case. Now, of course, you got Galactus on the second cover and you've got Silver Surfer flying above real small like in this area, I believe. And then you've got the Fantastic Four you know, running for their lives. The reason why I like this is the anticipation, the the worry. They The Fantastic Four are obviously behind the Watcher, but they're in front of the crowd. So they are, you know, there to protect. They're, they're the, pretty much the only ones who could ste step up against what's coming. And they're standing in front. I like this one because of the anticipation of what is coming. I think that uh, to me, makes this my my better cover, my more favorite cover, or my preferred cover over 49. Now, 49 is amazing. It's like 
which one do you like better? You know, chocolate milkshakes or chocolate malts? Like, I love them both. Like, trust me, I'll take either one. This cover to me is the cover that I would prefer every single time. And this is still the money book. So very, very awesome. Yeah, I prefer this one. And that that is beautiful. That is a beautiful, beautiful copy of this book. So I'm gonna put it back here and then we'll talk a little bit about the uh, the value. All right, so for gocollect.com, they're saying that a fantastic four, number 48, the fair market value is $2,600. The most recent sale was January 30th for 2,750. And the sale before that was January 26th for $2,800. This book is definitely uh, going up. I don't see anyone selling this book for less than $2,700. That's that's gonna be the asking price. Before that, there was a couple offers accepted. Uh, the first one was listed at 3,500 and then the second one was 3,150. So this book is definitely, definitely a, a, a big book. It's on the rise. It's still pretty affordable, but once the Silver Surfer is like hinted at, like if you see a silver streak zooming across the sky, good night, good night, goodbye to Fantastic Four 48. Let's check out some census numbers for this book. Once again, there's going to be thousands. There are total on the CGC census, 7,955 total graded. Um, and then universal, there's 6,678. For 5.0, there's 554 copies. If you want this book, you can get it. There are copies, a million copies out there. So, well, there's like 7,000 copies for sure. But there are copies out there. If you guys want this book, it's it's available. You can buy it. It's not like Daredevil number one and Fantastic Four number 48 are available. They're out there. I love collecting the books that's like, boy, that one hasn't shown up on the market for four years. It, this is the first time this book is on the market for four years. So these are two of my favorite books ever. X-Men number one, Daredevil number one, Fantastic Four number 48 are books that I never thought I would own in my life. So I do love them. I do appreciate them and cherish them. And that custom label is very, very cool. It makes that book just even that much more special. So I'm going to try to put these in the safe and try to not touch them. So we will see. Thank you guys so much for watching. If this is your first time here, thanks for thanks for click and play on this video. Consider hitting that subscription button, hit that bell to be notified when there's future videos. Also, if you haven't hit that bell and you just happened across my video, you are already subscribed, hit that bell. I have content, you know, pretty much regularly about at least a video a week if not more, and I'm planning on for March this month just having uh, uh, several videos. I've got so much backstock of, of video content that I could be making. I'll be doing some live videos with Shortbox, showing some incredible, incredibly big, big books, I'm talking about their new app, and then or the new features on their new upgraded app. And then I've got, I, I searched a 50,000 book collection and I was able to pick out some books from that collection. I've got some Golden Age, got some Moderns, amazing books. So hopefully you guys are excited about that. Give a thumbs up and comment down below and I will talk to you all in the next one. See ya, bye.